This video was made possible by Good Better Best Tuition Services. Please subscribe to this channel for the latest videos. Today we are going to be discussing the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. Let's first look at high highest common factor. So there are two methods. The first one is the factor method. Let's discuss that. The factor method involves us writing down the factors of 12 and 18. So the factors of 12, they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. These are the numbers that divide into 12. And the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. What do you see? You see that 1 is common, 2 is common, 3 is common but we are looking for the highest common one and the highest common one is 6. So the highest common factor here is 6. Now let's look at the second method. The second method is called the ladder method. This involves us writing 12 and 18 as a product of its prime factors. So let's have a look at that. So we need to divide 12 by a prime number Let's start with the smallest prime number that we can think of, and that is 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Now we need to keep dividing until we have 1 as our final answer. So what can we divide 6 by? We can divide by 2 again. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And we divide, this time we divide by 3 and 3 divided by 3 is 1. That's how we know we are done. So 12 is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 3. Please remember that on this side we can only divide by prime numbers. Now let's do the same thing to 18. Let's break that up. What can we divide by? We divide by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. What can we divide 9 by? We can divide 9 by 3. Remember, it must be a prime number. 9 divided by 3 is 3. We divide 3 by 3 and the answer is 1. So 12 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 and 18 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3. You must be wondering why I left this blank space. It's because I wanted to write the same factors below one another. You'll see why in a moment. So now what we've done is we've circled what's common to both lines. So that 2 is paired with that 2. That 3 is paired with that 3 in that line. That 2 is not paired with anything and that 3 is not paired with anything so it cannot be included. Therefore we can say that the HCF is 2 times 3 which is equal to 6. Let's do another example. This time let's use bigger numbers. The first method is suitable for the smaller numbers but we want to try the bigger numbers so let's try that. Let's look at finding the HCF of 168 and 234. Now we need to write each one as the product of its prime factors. In other words we are going to be dividing by prime numbers again. Let's look at the first one. What do we divide by? We can divide by 2. So that gives us 84, which we can divide by 2 again, giving us 42, which we divide by 2 again, giving us 21, which we can now divide by 3, which gives us 7. 7 is also a prime number, and 7 divided by 7 is 1. Let's do the next one, or I'll tell you what, let's see if you can do the next one on your own. Can you finish that ladder for me? So you should have that on the left hand side. 234 divided by 2 is 117, divided by 3 is 39, divided by 3 again is 13, and 13 divided by 13 is 1. So let's look at the highest common factor of 168 and 234 using the product of prime factors. So 168 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 7, and 234 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 13. What do we need to do now? We need to circle. What do we need to circle? 
we need to circle those who have pairs. Let's do that. And there we've circled the pairs, which is 2 and 3. And so the highest common factor of 168 and 234 is 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. Now let's look at the lowest common multiple. Again, there are two methods. This time we are going to be using multiples. That's the first method. And the second method is the ladder method, which we've just used, but there'll be a different step to it. Let's look at finding the LCM of 6 and 7. Now, again, this method is more suitable to smaller numbers than bigger numbers. So what I've done now is I've written down the first couple of multiples of 6 and the first couple of multiples of 7. So what we are going to do is look for the lowest common one. If you don't find it within the multiples that we've already written down, then you need to continue adding multiples until you find something that's common. Luckily for us, the lowest common multiple is here and you can see what's common. What's the lowest common one? Can you tell me? Yes, it's 42. So the LCM of 6 and 7 is 42. Now using the ladder method, let's find the LCM of 24 and 56. Can you complete these ladders for me? I'm sure you can. It's exactly the same as the last one we did. So we've only divided by prime numbers and this is what we should have. We should have 24 equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 and 56 equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. So we've written 24 down as a product of its prime factors and we've written 56 down as a product of its prime factors. What happens now is that we need to circle just like we did in the previous example but there's an additional step. Let's have a look. So we've paired them up again, the twos, we've paired them up again, but we see that they are singles as well. Now, if there is a pair, we only write it down once. Let's have a look. Although there are two twos here, the two become one, and we only write it down once. And there we have our singles, which we now also need to include. So let's look at example two. We need to find the LCM of 70 and 112. What do we need to do? We need to write this as the product of prime factors. So we use the ladder method like we did before and we find the product of prime factors. So 70 is equal to 2 times 7 times 5 and then 112 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. What do we need to do? we need to circle the pairs. Once we've circled the pairs, we only write the number down once. Then we need to look at the singles, which is 2, 2, 2, and 5. So we need to multiply this by 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. See, now we've included the pairs and we've included the singles. So 2 times 7 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 is 560 and that's the LCM of 70 and 112. Thank you for watching with us and then if you need maths, physics, accounting, English or Afrikaans tuition grades 1 to 12, please feel free to contact me on 082